Hey guys, Andrew McFarland here from startajuicebar.com. Hope you guys are happy and healthy, excited to launch your businesses or grow your existing business. Today, I'm going to give you one quick kitchen hack when it comes to your design and your operations that is guaranteed to make things more efficient. But before I dive in, if you guys are new, you don't know who I am, you don't know what we do, over the last 10, 11 years, I myself and our company has had the pleasure of supporting hundreds of entrepreneurs all over the world launch and scale successful juice concepts, smoothie concepts, acai bowl businesses, juice trucks, and the like, as well as running our own businesses in this arena. So all the information on this channel is coming from that wealth of experience, early invitation, press the like button. I appreciate it. We appreciate you. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you get alerted when we release new content because you definitely don't want to miss some of this information could totally change your business and change your life and the life of the people around you. So as you guys may or may not know, if you don't have a juice business yet and you're not operating things or maybe you're working from home, you are going to become aware of how important it is that you can move quickly and efficiently. And it's all about having systems, large systems, right? And smaller systems, macro and micro systems. They all matter because the amount of time it takes you to do every little thing accumulates when it's magnified throughout time. It's interesting because I often say that, you know, in this business, it's not to say that the singular tasks are complicated because they're not. It's actually the accumulation of the multiple small things that you have to do that make a web of complication. So isolating things in themselves, like, okay, how do I make this smoothie? It's not complicated. How do I do inventory? It's not complicated. How do I do, the list goes on and on and on, right? Check out the list. It's not complicated, but because there are so many small things to do, it leads to a whole big web of complexity. And so we wanna simplify things and we wanna create systems in every aspect of the business so things run efficiently. Now, one thing that you probably don't know if you don't have employees, you don't have a storefront or a juice truck and you're not managing people and you don't have all your things moving in the present moment, is that in a kitchen, one of the major things that slows people down is losing utensils, right? Might not be something that you've even thought about, but it's true. And it's not even that things are specifically lost, it's that they're misplaced. So what happens is that somebody's going to make a smoothie and they need a you know one fourth teaspoon in order to get the cacao powder into the smoothie but that's not where it usually is and so they're looking in the sink for it and they're asking around hey do you know where this thing is and and that goes for all the small utensils because there's once again a myriad of things from measuring cups to measuring spoons to spatulas to lids for blenders for the cap that goes on top of the lid for the blender there's you know so many small intricate things cutting boards you know knives uh, it just i could list a thousand things there's a lot of small things when it comes to the components that allow you to run your business efficiently so what is the hack that is going to help you make sure this is not an issue in your business it's sort of twofold right the first thing is you want to get a label maker with laminated labels, so that's waterproof, okay? And you wanna label where everything goes. Everything, okay? You have shelves and there's gonna be usually about six inches of a border around the shelf. If you use a standard stainless steel shelf. And on top of that shelf, you wanna put, hey, this is where the one quart containers go. This is where the cutting boards go. This is where, right? and. The key to this is obviously making sure that you're putting things in the right place initially so that there's an intelligent design to where things are. Okay, but once you have that locked in, you wanna make sure that you label where everything goes so that new and old employees are accountable for putting things back where they belong. Because a lot of times people don't do that. And it also helps with training as a whole, okay? because you're gonna have new employees come in and they're gonna be disoriented. They're gonna be like, wow, things are moving really quickly. And even if they have experience in food service, they have to get familiar with your kitchen. And if you actually have 
things labeled, they'll know that they can find it. Okay, great. I know that this doesn't go there because there's obviously a label of what is supposed to go there. And they'll find their way around the kitchen and they'll put things back where they're supposed to be. And if everything is back where it's supposed to be, guaranteed when people need it, it will be there. And that's very important. This goes for everything, okay? Everything. You can't over label things. It's very important. And then the second thing that I just kind of um, insinuated is you want to make sure the culture in your business that people are held to a very high standard and that they are accountable for putting things back where they belong. Because it's one thing to have a system in place. It's another thing for people to use that system, which is these are two different issues. One is a process and strategic issue. The second is a cultural and accountability issue, right? And sometimes people are really good at one and not good at the other, but you have to be good at both in order to actually execute appropriately. Okay, so create the system, create the process, label everything, and then create a culture within your company where people are accountable to following those systems and structures. And there's millions of microsystems. This is just one that I'm going to give you to help make your business more efficient. But there are so many when it comes to systems around training, around hiring, around firing, around inventory and everything. So reach out to us if you guys are ready to take your business to that next level or just get started as a whole. You can reach me personally at Andrew at startajuicebar.com. Would be happy to discuss how we can help you. We've got a full spectrum development firm and consulting agency. If you guys haven't pressed the like button yet, I will give you your last chance to press the like button. If you don't do it now, you can come back later, but you're gonna be disappointed in yourself. So go ahead and press the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. If you're not following us on Instagram, you definitely wanna follow us on Instagram. We have exclusive giveaways there. We have exclusive content that we only release there, recipe videos and all of that, at Starter Juice Bar. And then lastly, if you like podcasts, you can find us on iTunes and on Spotify, the Juice Bar Experts podcast. Check us out there. Until next time, hope you guys are happy and healthy. We're here to create a world where there are more healthy food service businesses than unhealthy food service businesses. And part of our mission in that is to empower all of you so you can help your communities. Because while what I find is that there's a lot of really well-intentioned individuals who oftentimes don't always have the strategies to match their intention, to make their visions a reality. And if you can't launch your business successfully, not only do you suffer, but really more importantly, the people in your community suffer because they don't get access to the things that they need to keep them well. And we all know that the juice bar and the healthy cafe really is the hospital of the future because it's where wellness starts. And so the work that you guys are doing and that we're doing is so important. It's so, so, so important. I can't stress that enough. So let us help you. We wanna make sure that we can create this world together. Until next time, this is Andrew McFarlane with StarterJuiceBar.com. If you made it this far to the video, thank you, and put it in the comment box below. What is one hack that you found in your business to make your operations and things more efficient? Put that in the comment box below, or just tell us that you like the video. Until next time, Andrew McFarlane, StarterJuiceBar.com. See you soon. Hope you guys have been enjoying the video content. If you are inspired to launch your juice business, but you're not exactly sure what steps to take, for you, we've created a free ebook, 15 Steps to Starting a Juice Business from Scratch. This is gonna give you a high level overview of everything you need to do from where you are now all the way to opening your business. Now, if you wanna go even deeper, we've created an online course, the Juice Bar Master Blueprint. This is gonna go into great detail into every aspect of starting your business, everything from branding, to menu development, to finding the right location, the equipment that you need, and so much more all the way to launching your business. There's links for both of these in the description below. I know you're gonna find a lot of value out of them. As always, hope you guys are happy and healthy, wishing you a lot of success, and I'll see you at the next video.